So the idea here is that um, we're going to leverage 5G, high bandwidth, low latency, uh, and reliable link to enable uh, a very high-end uh, XR experience or VR or AR experience where the, the graphical uh, computation and, and rendering is actually split between what can be done on device as well as at the edge of the network with edge computing capabilities. So 5G is enabling that because it's, it's, uh, the link is very fast in terms of latency and high bandwidth. So I, I, can, I can basically offload my processing from uh, the device to uh, that edge cloud uh, computation. And, uh, and I can then merge the information I get from the edge uh, computing uh, resource with the information that I have on my device and create this very high uh, end user experience. So here in this demonstration, we have it uh, over 5G, so we cannot transmit 5G wirelessly because of interference and the, at the venue here. So we're using, a, this is a 5G uh, base station, uh, GOB, and uh, the 5G radio signal is transmitted over the cable here. It's a 5G uh, RF cable and it goes into the phone, right? This is a prototype 5G phone uh, from Qualcomm. It's a little big because it's a prototype and it's used for testing. It's not the normal size of a phone. The normal 5G phone would look like this. Um, and then we have the cable and the accessory, which is this uh, device, this HMD. Uh, this has 4K resolution, so two displays per eye, like 2K displays per eye. And in this, this, this uh, device uh, has uh, cameras and sensors, uh, but doesn't have any processing here. This sensor information is sent back to the device here, to the 5G phone. The 5G phone then calculates the pose position of the head, and that information then is sent through 5G to the edge cloud uh, server that is actually doing the, the, the high-end graphical rendering and it's sending this back over 5G high-speed link. Uh, then the device does some further processing and, and displays it here. So you can actually experience uh, the demo uh, and you see the kind of quality that is achievable. It does. It does. Is that on? You can actually walk around. Yeah. You can move from the right left. Of course, you have a cable, but you can move. You can walk around. You can walk around. You can walk around. You can walk around. You can walk expect the final prototype to look like mm -hmm. just a 5G phone with a headset. You would purchase one of these 5G phones in the market and then you could buy a headset from the open market and then your operator would offer you VR as a service. Instead of purchasing an entire server to do VR, you would just buy a service from an operator like maybe Airtel or yeah. Vodafone and for a couple of dollars a month or a couple of rupees a month you would, you would be able to experience VR. But do you see a form factor like where this opens and the phone just sits inside the... Absolutely, we have that form factor also. We have that demoed over there. Okay. Those are what we call all-in-one oh, yeah. form factors. They're right. This, they, in, in, right now, they use Wi-Fi, but we expect those for that form factor also to go to 5G. So really, there are multiple form factors. We started off with uh, what we call the cardboard form factor, where yeah. the phone is sitting inside a dumb box. Now we are at the all-in-one form factor, where, which is over there, where everything is inside one box, the Snapdragon and everything. This is, we believe, is the third form factor, which we call the tethered form factor, where you buy this, which has very less electronics, the 5G phone gives you the entire VR as a service. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.